Today we're going to be taking a look at the Einstar Vega, an all-in-one 3D scanning solution by Shining 3D. And by all-in-one, what we mean is you don't actually need a computer to use the Einstar Vega because as you can see, it has a 6.4 inch AMOLED built-in display, allowing you to take the Einstar Vega anywhere you want to go. Scan inside if you want to scan inside, scan outside if you want to scan outside. The only limit is your battery. Luckily though, it does hold a decent charge. Inside the Vega, you have 32 gigabytes of storage space. You can add in an SD card if you want, up to 512 gigabytes. And the Vega itself has 32 gigabytes of RAM. So in addition to those amazing specs, it offers two different modes of scanning, HD mode and fast mode. In HD mode, you'll be scanning at 15 frames per second with a working distance of 100 millimeters to 250 millimeters. In fast mode, you'll be scanning at 20 frames per second with a working distance of 350 millimeters to 1500 millimeters. And that's adjustable. So if you wanted to, you could have a working distance of 500 to 1000 millimeters, for example. The Einstar Vega also offers two light modes, the cell and MEMS, the cell for long range scanning and MEMS for short range scanning. It only weighs 535 grams, Having a 6.4 inch screen, it is actually the size of most modern cell phones. As you can see here, it comes in this awesome silicone case that you can remove at your whim. You can change between dark mode and light mode with the press of a button on the side here. You have two buttons on the side, the power button and the light mode, dark mode switcher. And then on the opposite side, you've got the USB-C charging port on your computing device, which for the first time ever does not require an NVIDIA card. You can install the Vega software and view your files and then decide whether or not you want to transfer them at your convenience, which makes the Vega an amazing tool. One of the nice things about the case is that it's got these handles here in the front, which allows for an ergonomic grip. So for our first object today, I thought we could scan this boot. I do have markers on my table. Uh, if I were scanning in HD mode, I would take advantage of these markers, but we are actually going to scan in fast mode. I'm going into the settings, into the advanced settings. I put on acquire texture as well as alignment mode, texture alignment. If you choose not to use texture alignment, it will use feature alignment by default. And unfortunately, I can't share this with you because I don't have any screen recording software on my device. That would be a nice thing if they implemented that at some later stage. I've noticed with the Vega that if you lose tracking, sometimes when you regain tracking, it doesn't always align your objects up correctly. So you want to kind of try and not lose tracking. For using the Einstar Vega, I'm not moving too slow at all. I'm happy with where that boots at, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the check mark. And now that I've done that, we've got this little scissor icon. Just tap on that scissor icon. I've got this area over here. I think it's, it's the wall and that cardboard box and the Vega carrying case. So I'll select this area like that. Go select connected. So I'll just go ahead and delete that. Now that I've more or less isolated the boot, some areas over here that I had a hard time getting rid of, but I can go ahead and hit complete and now it's going to apply that and it's going to turn my point cloud into a mesh that I can then export. I'll come over here, click on this icon. I guess I can go ahead and hit HD reconstruction just for kicks and groans. While I'm waiting for it to go through its processing, this is the case and it's actually pretty nice. When you open it up, this is what it looks like. So you can see that it's got all of these little compartments for everything. You've got all your markers, you've got your calibration board and it comes in a nice black felt cloth. Another cool gizmo that you get with the Vega in addition to the Vega and the Shining 3D mascot. And this amazing tripod. You get this little component for uh, the tripod. You can see that with this attached to your tripod, you can move the Vega around and it's going to stay solidly on the tripod. You're not gonna have to worry about it like flipping over. So we have gone through texture mapping now and I'm not sure if you can see how beautiful this looks, but that looks really, really good. We have successfully scanned our boot. It looks like a boot. 
Let's go ahead and save that. This is cool too, just like on a mobile device after you've taken a photo, you've got a, a little representation of the photo that you just took down next to the take photo button. On the Vega, you have the same thing. So if I wanted to take a look at the boot that I just scanned, I would just click on that and it's gonna take me into the gallery where I can see all of the things that I've recently scanned. Now that I've scanned the boot, you can hit the share icon. It says select space here. So I've only got this one space available. So now I can upload this boot to the cloud and access it from any device. So it's so incredibly user friendly. I mean, it's just awesome. There we go. And that's it. That's the way that it turned out. That's pretty cool. Right, so I've disconnected the Vega from the charger and I'm now going to plug it into my little tablet over here. So I am in the StarVision software right now. I'm gonna hit file transfer and immediately it's displaying the exact same stuff that I had going on within the gallery in my Vega. So now that I've selected the boot, I can go ahead and just click import model to library. You can see that I've got two items in my model library. I'm gonna go ahead and go import workspace create a new one. So clicking on the on the mesh edit icon, I can adjust the brightness of the uh, texture interactively here. I can adjust the contrast, I can adjust the temperature, the saturation, um, I can adjust how much I, I want it to be simplified. So here I just jacked it all the way up to 99. That's actually kind of cool. That's, <laughs> that straight up looks like game art, but I don't want that. So I'm going to hit exit. So there you have it. That was 3D scanning with the Einstar Vega, a brand new all-in-one 3D scanning solution by Shining 3D. Take it with you anywhere, inside, outside, doesn't matter. You're good to go. No need to have a computer or any other device with you. The Einstar Vega has got you covered. Hope you found this video helpful. Feel free to reach out to us at info at umax.com. If you'd like to take a look at the other products that we have available, you can do so at umax.com. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.